Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and a great big thank you to everyone that watches my videos and supports my channel I really do appreciate that truly uh, so I'm going to get straight in I'm doing a review uh, it, it could be a black mailbag but it's not I actually know what's in it because when it arrived it had SG907 and that straight away is a GPS smart drone now, as, as a lot of people are aware that the new laws regarding drones have come out in December the, uh, last year. Uh, any drone that's 250 grams or above, you have to register it. Uh, and you have to do the online. It's easy, the online drone license. <laughs> it's just a way for the government to make money because you've got to pay money, haven't you, to get that license. Same as with everything with this with this government. It's always the same. You know, something comes out that's good, fleece them. So anyway, if we haven't paid enough taxes uh, on the goods to start with. Anyway, this is a ZLL. It's an SG907. It's a GPS smart drone. It's got this one. It's got there. It says on there like 5G. So 5G, that is the 5G Wi-Fi. It isn't the actual 5G mobile. It's 4G mobile still. It's 5G Wi-Fi. Uh, sure, if, as long as your phone does the 802 Wi-Fi uh, license it's fine so if you use a mobile phone with the 802 it'll work fine and as a 5g uh, this is 1080p or 4k camera i've got the 4k camera on it uh personally i don't think so i think it just does do 2.7 gigahertz at around th uh, about 30 uh frames per second or it does it does double the 1080p at 60 frames per second but i think it's 2.7 gigahertz uh it truly isn't doing a, a 4k I'm not complaining like because like, the video quality is absolutely fantastic on it i have tested it out a little bit and i'll tell you a little bit more about it when i open it up but it's a smart drone it's got follow me uh selfie and all this lot it's got a viewpoint it's got uh GPS, it's got uh, optical, uh, the ground camera, the bottom camera. Uh, it does its optical light and stuff like that. It has three stages of uh, wind resistance. You know, like if it, if it comes up a little bit windy or there's a, a slight gust of wind, it will auto correct itself and everything. It's got one button takeoff, one button land, uh, everything. Uh, if you take a look at what the like the Maverick Pros cost and all that lot, well, you have to be licensed for them, but the, even the smallest of the Mavericks, You've got the Maverick Pro Mini, the Maverick Mini, which is about the same as this, but the Mini, it doesn't last as long. I mean, this has literally got a 23 fly minute fly time. I can actually fly this for 23 minutes in the air, which is quite a long time in uh, droning, as you know. Well, I opened the box this way, and I bought it with this particular model. You buy it in a case or in a box. Um, I'll just tear, actually, I'll turn that box around there, show you the side that's me i just empty open boxes upside down and here's everything it does it's foldable gps return home point of interest waypoint flight that means you can pick different points for sending the drone off to go and do it all by itself intelligent ipp following it will follow you uh, electrically adjustable camera on the, it's got buttons on the root control where you, you move the camera up and down follow me mode gesture mode you know you make these gestures that one there is for uh i think that is take a picture that one there is oh that's the photo one that's the control the control the camera up or down that's a photo one and that's a gesture recording to start recording these are just but a few of the things that this this does uh and it's absolutely brilliant i'm gonna just Lift it fair up. Now, as for the Mavericks, you, everyone, as everyone knows, they are very expensive. This, I paid uh, with everything you see what I'm about to bring out. You wouldn't get this with a Maverick Pro or anything. Uh, I paid 83 quid. And what had happened is the battery, one of the batteries was not working properly, which was, you know, you, you get that sometimes, which I'm not bothered about. Uh, the battery was not working properly. One of the lead lights is out. It still is out to be honest, and uh, the battery wasn't working properly, but, and one of the lights, and uh, you know, that was it. So I contacted the company, 
just a wee bit. And the company gave me 40 quid back and said, go and buy a battery. <laughs> so I've checked up the batteries are 13 quid. The lead light, it's easy for me to do. I know other people wouldn't do it, but I'm, I don't even think I'll bother with the lead light. I'm not bothered about lights. I don't look at the lights. You know, <coughs> I've got other ways to tell which direction the, uh, the drone is facing. So anyway, I'll take it out. So like I said, so the, the cost now, 40 quid, 43 quid. And you get this beautiful case. I bought it with a case, but you have an option to buy it in a box. And I bought it in this case, and it's a ZLRC case. Uh, that's the company that makes the drone. And the case was specifically made for this drone. Uh, I have used the drone a few times. Uh, I, I can't show you now because it's evening and not only that, it's raining outside. But uh, yeah, I can fly it in the house, but I don't like doing that because I've already hit my TV with it once. <laughs> so we'll get around to it. Uh, what I will tell you a little bit more about this. Is it an RC SG907 quadcopter? Now in here, these are the instructions. I've, I've, put, I've left in the box all the foreign instructions, but like I say, I'll just open them out and I'll get them out there. But what I use is the English ones. I've kept them out so I can I can use them for a reference point. That's a software installation for you. Insta install it on your phone. Uh, this is the uh, manual in English uh, for the smart drone, it's, it's like ZLS G907. So there's the instructions there, which go in, in the lid there, along with the charging cable, but my charger, I'm charging the battery up. Uh, which is over the uh, over there getting charged. I'm, I'll just flick the camera up a little bit so I can show you. Yeah. That's it there with the battery charging. My assistant is about picking it up there. Look, there's the battery. I don't know if you can see it there, but that's it. That's the battery on charge, and it's it, it takes roughly two hours to charge up. Uh, which that was flat that battery, so it's charged up. You get a nice little foam pad here to keep extra protection on top. You can see where my granddaughter, our Lily May, stood on this. <laughs> she stood there at the side of my chair five minutes talking away to her gang gang. And I thought, I said, Lily, I said, you're a bit tall. What you stood on? She goes this. And I looked down, it was this. And my quad come down. <laughs> she actually stood on it. So there's proof. I don't know. She's three years old. I don't know what she wears, but she never broke anything. So this is what you get in the case. Uh, you get a nice little screwdriver. The, this is for taking the battery off at the back, that's all. Uh, you can actually change the propellers and everything. You get spare spare propellers with it in there. So I'll just I haven't opened them yet. There's I don't I don't bother won't bother opening them unless I need to use them. But uh, you know the propellers are quite strong. It's already whacked a few things and there's not a single chip on them propellers. It is it's a, a handsome, you know, it really is made very well. Uh, I put these down here because they're easy to reach. And the good idea with these is because like all my other drones, drones, these are just permanently affixed. But these are the little uh, control knobs for the uh, for the radio controller. You just push them in, and whoops, I've turned it on by accident. There it is. There, and all you do is just push them in there. One. and two but i'm not saying but it's 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 a nice little uh controller it's very well built it really does feel like a, a uh, it really does 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 feel like a uh, a quality item you know it does it, it, although it's abs plastic but it's quite strong this one it's a nice it seems to be made really strong this is your one point takeoff this is your return home this is for your camera up and down and obviously, you know, this nice little stand, you know, you stand it when you've got your, your mobile phone, which uh, on both of them, they're brilliant. It is, it's very well made. Uh, thing we, and the GPS on there, you can see there uh, where the GPS is, that will show up how many satellites you've got. You've got to have a, a minimum seven satellites and that's your height and distance and your mode. You fly indoors with mode one. It's not showing any battery on that. That's the battery. The internal batteries i'm using the uh, triple a uh, double a sorry the take double a four double a batteries 
and I'm using four AA rechargeable batteries in it. Uh, that's for the quad cop. There's no battery in it at the moment, so you're not going to actually see that. And it's just about I just kind of. I wasn't planning to show it, but it is truly very well made. It is a, a a brilliant controller. Uh, you know, and you, when you've got your phone sitting there. Uh, you need your phone for the Wi-Fi, but inside the house you, you can use it on mode 1. It switches to mode 2 once you've got the satellites picked up. And then the next thing is the, the actual quadcopter. Now, in it, as it is now, that is just a few grams. I'm not kidding you. That's the size of it. It is very light. I'm, I'm amazed. I really have done the job on uh, keeping the... Uh, the camp the uh the, the weight of it down now the two leads there's one and this lead e is not actually working uh that one there i'm not bothered it looks to me like it's been pushed in a little bit yeah uh, well i just i've been doing this review so far without my glasses on <coughs> right i've got them on no there's the uh, the downward camera that's a downward sensor that you know will sense the distance it is from the floor and then I have this uh, 90 degree, goes 90 degree that way, but no other way, so you have to turn the, the, the uh, quadcopter. But that's the uh, 4K camera, and it's a nice camera. Uh, absolutely brilliant. And the good thing about this, I don't like uh, brush motors and br uh, brushless motors. Now, brushless motors on a quadcopter is fine, yeah, but a lot more hassle. Uh, whereas brush motors are straightforward. And there's where you put the battery, you, can, you connect the battery there and stuff like that. So if, uh, what I'll do now is I'll just unfold it. But this whole thing, at present now, is so light, it is unbelievable. Uh, I'm trying to think of something I can put its weight to. And there it is folded out. As you can see, uh, it's, it's a brilliant little machine. Now, I have flown this, and I'll tell you what, if you're an amateur, if you haven't ever flown a, a, a drone, one of these before, a quadcopter before, I don't blame you for being nervous to buy one because you think, oh, I'm only going to lose it. Uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't think that way with this. It's, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it is virtually impossible to lose this because... If when it travels away, if the battery gets low, it'll just it just automatically comes back. Well, that's what that battery over there is on charge for because I've tested it out. Uh, when it was the weather was a bit better earlier in the day, it flies off, and went, and I've done it so the you know I ran the battery right down and it just flashed up on the screen saying low battery and I watched it. It was about a hundred yards away, and about a hundred foot up in the air, and it came back, and lid, and the good thing is it lit precisely where it took off. So that was with a low battery because I just ignored it and let it do it itself. If it goes out of range, if it's approaching the range what it can detect, it will not go beyond that. It will come back. If you do lose your satellite and your signal and all that, the quadcopter itself has got stored in its memory exactly where it is and comes straight back and lands where it took off. So <laughs> you can see all the points, but it's great, especially with a follow me. I'm going to be uh, showing you a few of them videos when I when I get some made. Anyway, we'll go on to the battery. And yeah, I got this with two batteries for 83 quid. <laughs> I think this one's got some charging. I'm not sure. But I'll just plug it in anyway. And the battery there. And it, whoops. Sorry about that. And what you do is you just get the battery in there like that. And it's just a straightforward push it in. Uh, the the only daft thing I don't like about this battery is it does not click. It just pushes in. So I would like it if it did click. I'll just turn it on, but I'm not going to pair it. Three seconds, and then it lights up. So, yeah, it's shown full there, but in all probability, it's not full. And on the front there, you can see just one. This one's not flashing at all. It should be. And that one there the red one at the back uh, that's that's all that's all you need to be honest so yes this this uh, drone is a brilliant little machine for taking aerial photography and stuff like that which that's what i plan to do uh, all my other drones i've never been never used them for the past two years to be honest uh, and they're nowhere near as advanced as this and yet i paid more for them drones 
uh, but for 83 quid. This is DJI Maverick Pro uh, technology, this. It is an imitation of the DJI Maverick Pro, but it is a very well made, and I can understand them why, what they've done to keep costs down and all that lot. There's no metal in it, it is very light. I'm not kidding you. Even with that battery in, it is so light, it is unbelievable. I can't compare it to a bag of sugar because a bag of sugar is much more heavier than what this drone is. But uh, and when you turn it, it just turn out, it's just like one, two, three. Have I pushed that? All right, it did. And it, it turns off, you know, so fantastic. But a great little bag, a great little machine. So if you're going to get into, if anyone would like to fly your drone, buy one. And I would definitely recommend this. I've been flying it a uh, float a few times, give it a test and all that. And I'll tell you what, I highly recommend it. And like I say, it's got the nice little badges on the front, SG907. And all you have to do on eBay is type in SG907 or SG907 in uh, Amazon and all the other places. And what a fantastic piece of equipment for the price you're paying. It's packed with all that technology, and yet the price is like a fraction of the cost of a DJI. I think uh, now DJI is going to have to start bringing their prices down. I mean, they're making a lot of profit, but they're going to have to start competing with the likes of this. This company is, is selling this at this, and it is a beautiful. I've crashed it about three or four times, and I've checked every single blade on it. There's no chips, no dings, nothing. It is very durable. Fantastic. And to be honest, out of all the quadcopters I flew, because I've had them in the past, and now I've, I've had quite a few cop, uh, quadcopters in the past and drones, but this one, I am really pleased with it. Uh, especially with the case everything about it is so it looks and feels so professional and yet a complete novice can fly it my assistant the wife that is she's even flown it and she said oh it's easy because she's always like just to get take them off she don't you know because you don't have to do with the joystick just press one button and it'll take off and it'll hover and then you just slowly learn the, the controls take it backwards forwards sideways you know uh operate the raw and it turn it round and stuff like that and it, it's uh, the yaw uh, you learn all that while it's flying and it's so easy and then you think god flying these quad quad couplers isn't that hard after all so yeah for the novice i would definitely re recommend this and for the price oh, to be honest uh i have seen the d, d well the dji 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 maverick pro one i've seen that and this is just as impressive, to be honest. It has a 23 minute flight time. Uh, it it depends on how fast that's at normal speed. If I put it on, it's, it's got a double speed, so it literally does go very fast, which I will be showing you much more of it on a second review. But this is the first review of it, out of the box review. And I hope anyone that's not, would like to fly one, but is scared, get one. You don't need a license for this. Just the, the the normal rules, you know, don't be flying near airports, don't fly in public places, don't fly, you know, uh, you can fly in your home or in your garden, but, you know, don't go sending it off looking through people's windows. <laughs> uh, and don't go flying it around police stations looking through their windows. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it is an absolute fantastic, great for aerial photography for you to go on holidays and stuff like that, if you like to, you know, go on treks and stuff. I like to... There's a few things like I, might, I like to look at bridges and stuff like that. So I like to fly the quad cutter up there. If there's a road there, I'll fly it a little bit further, you know, down from where the bridge is. And then, get it, you know, it's got a 50 time, a fifty time zoom on this. I can zoom in, you know, really close ups on it. So, yeah, what a machine. My advice to everyone, if you're thinking about getting into it, this is the definitely a, a, a good priced trainer drone. I recommend it to everyone. So on that note, uh, like I said, great big thank you to everyone that comes to my channel, especially all my old friends. Uh, you are probably all watching now. And I really do wish you all a happy new year. Uh, as I said it in the past couple of videos, haven't I? I don't, I don't mind. I'll say it all the way through here, actually. And uh, happiness to everyone. So please keep coming, watch my videos. Uh, please leave comments. 
hit that bell uh, and I will see you in my next video. On that note, thank you. Goodbye.